Hi, I'm Julian De Luca, and uh, I'm here with a new video about uh, SharePoint Framework. In the last few days, I have seen an interesting uh, uh, client-side uh, solution, and uh, I liked the the idea, and uh, so I decided to uh, reproduce um, the same feature in a SharePoint uh, Framework uh, solution move forward uh, immediately with the demo in order to uh, show you my my solution in order to do that uh, i will create uh, a new modern uh, modern page and uh, i will add uh, here my my web part i will define a title a title image magnifier so um, I deployed my SPFX solution with the uh, tenant scope what uh, what means it means that uh, my web part will be available in the entire tenant for every site collection this is uh, one of the last uh, feature uh, released by Microsoft for SharePoint Framework. My my web part is called the Image Magnifier, and uh, here here we have uh, the Image Magnifier web part, the web part that uh, I developed. I just developed. So let me explain how works this uh, this web part. Basically, we have two two image overlapped. Okay, the first is image is uh, small, and uh, the second uh, the second one uh, it's um, a large image, more detailed. In order to to display uh, the the final result, I have to fill out uh, uh, the all uh, all fields in the property pane. Now I have to insert the the URL. I already prepared this. Uh, essentially, I stored the two two images on the site assets in the same uh, site collection, and now I have to specify also the width and the height for the small image. Also, in this case, I already know this information. I have to insert the original pixel forward with the URL about the large large image we we have a more pixel and now the the web part it's already rendered is ready to go in fact now if I move uh, on the on the image I am able to to display a lens and uh, in this lens, I'm able to to see uh, the the image more uh, more detailed, okay, with more pixel. I think that uh, it's uh, pretty nice this uh, this web part. Okay, now I I'm gonna show you a little bit uh, the of code. We will see the. Uh, backstage of this uh, of this web part okay this is the main uh, the main component uh, in the main the main components it's relative simple uh, in fact here uh, uh, there is also only a check if all the properties are, uh, are filled out if yes the the web part will be rendered as you can see in this uh, snippet and now I'm gonna show you the the business core of this uh, of this web part it's the image magnifier lens TSX so here we have two two component okay the magnifier component basically is the lens in fact as you can see here this is the markup the HTML markup 
in order to, to render properly the, the lens. And uh, here we have a little bit of calculation to, to display properly the, the lens in base of the cursor, the mouse cursor position. Okay, we have the, the x, x, y position, if visible, and so on. The, the second component is the image magnifier lens. And uh, I define it also here the, the, the state. This, uh, this is really important because uh, every, every time that I move the, mo the mouse cursor on the, on the image, as you can see here, I registered a mouse move event on the, on the image. So it means that every, every time that I move the mouse cursor on the image, the state, the state change and uh, this will trigger the component did update and uh, exactly in this position i will uh, i will re-render the the lens and uh, yeah the, that's all i i want to show you also the package solution as i mentioned uh, before the this web part is deployed with tenant scope in fact, as you can see here, the skip feature deployment is true. And as I said, this, uh, this web part uh, is available in the entire tenant for every single set collection. Now I'm gonna to demonstrate this. I will open uh, another set collection in my, for example, this, this modern team site and also here I I will create a new a new modern page site page and more simplistic I'm gonna call test and here as you can see I'm able to add the image magnifier web part different different site collection but the web part it's already available i hope uh, that this solution uh, is helpful for you thanks for watching me see you to the next video